All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Peak to Middle School. My name is Narwhal. I'm here with Kyle. Hey. Hey, Kyle. Guess what? I Hi. learned a new word. What? It's my new favorite word. Okay. Isohel. Isohel? Well, or... Isohel? Iso... Isohel? It's I-S-O-H-E-L. It's, I think Isol. it's like a, a European word. Sounds Islamic. Oh. I don't know. But... Isohel. It is a line on a map connecting points having the same duration of sunshine. What? And I thought that was the most artsy thing in the whole world. Wait, wait, wait. What does it do? So it's a point. It's a line on a map. Yes. That connects two different places of the world that have the exact same amount of sunshine. So give me an example. What has the same sun? What has the same sunshine as us? I don't know. How would I know that? Well, I thought you'd have more information. <laughs> okay, I'll look it up. What is the ISO hole to Seattle, Washington? Okay, that's a good you question. You can even use the word. Oh. I'm going to guess like London. But is I think the that's not right. ISO hole. Yeah, yeah no. no i'm just gonna say what has the same amount of daylight mm. that's a better word well um, is it are we looking for daylight or like how much sun we get because we don't get a lot of sun yeah we get daylight but not a lot of sun see i think it's probably amount of daylight i don't know i can't find okay, anything whatever. i don't care anymore but <laughs> But there's this song by this guy named Eden, who's very talented. Uh, I, I like him a lot. And I saw a music video, and it was called Isahel. And someone put it in the comments. And uh, I don't know. You can find, you can learn a lot through the YouTube comment section. Sometimes it sucks ass. But I found a lot of cool nuggets of gold just really? hidden in there. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's a lot of dumb people in YouTube comments. No, there are. Uh, please don't show yourselves in our YouTube comments. Don't show yourselves? No, the please. Dumb, well, but if you're dumb, don't. Like, mean dumb yeah but the more comments like we the get ones. the more engagements the video gets and the yeah more well views. we don't want a bunch of racist comments in our in our all right videos. yeah maybe not racist but if you're like just really dumb that's feel cool free too, to comment because like we can we can banter back and forth yeah yeah um anyways got whoa <laughs> what did my voice just do there anyways guys like uh drop. how's it going uh i'm feeling great thank you for asking i'm, I'm good thanks for not asking Okay. Um, I, <laughs> I'm wearing a watch today. I normally I don't that. wear a watch, but I. You trying to look cool? No. So, you t actually told me a, a couple of weeks ago that like people perform better if they're not comfortable, like not what? in their comfort zone at work, for example. I don't think it's necessarily uncomfortable. I think it's more like, oh, uh, well, I don't know. I I think I know it's like colder. Yeah, so it's a little colder in the studio right now. But I don't think it's like uncomfortable, like well, freeze, like frozen Arctic conditions. You're gonna like <laughs> yeah, perform no, your best. That's not what I meant. But like, my point is, normally I would wear sweatpants in here that's if because we're doing. just like at my house. I would just be in sweats and like a hoodie. But I wanted to mix it up and see if if I'm wearing a watch, if I'm wearing nice nice pants. I feel like you're talking down on me. No, I'm wearing a hoodie and I'm no, wearing sweats. That's great. And I I've worn sweats probably the past <laughs> 10 to 15 podcasts. No, so have I. And that's like, that's great. I just, it's kind of like an experiment. I want to see if I feel like I perform better on this episode yeah. because of my outfit. You're performing well down low and on your, on your wrist, but you just have a t-shirt on. You have a pimp shirt, which is great, but it's not like a fancy shirt. You know what I mean? I always perform well down low. You know what I mean? I no. Okay. I mean I do, but I don't really want to get into this. Yeah. Um. So I, that's <laughs> why I'm wearing a watch, guys. But by the way, this watch hasn't told the right time in months. You can fix it. No, I know, but it's not even the right day. And like also, I also, you I, can fix it. I looked up how to change the time on this model of watch, and it is a whole circus act to try and fix the time on here. So I'm just gonna. And realistically, so it's just a style thing. It's not even yes. not not practical. No, I will never look at this to tell the time. I have built such an ingrained like habit in my brain to look at my phone that even if this told the right time, I would never look at this for the time. I'd always just look at my phone. Yeah, but then you're that millennial that uh, even though we're not millennials technically, yeah, that you would pull out your phone when you have a perfectly working watch on your wrist. That's true, but. But the difference is a lot of millennials don't even know how to tell time on an analog clock. You know that? That's a thing. That's so dumb. My, if you don't know how to my do that. mom used to work at a school and she told me that uh, kids would get this. Kids would come into the she worked at like the front office and kids would come in. They're like elementary school kids and they didn't know how to dial a, 
a parent's phone number. What? Because like phone, because like... their parents have smartphones and they're so used to like the contact name just being in there, and they would just touch oh. the screen and hit mom or whatever. They don't know the actual number. The kids genuinely like didn't know what to do. Like my mom would hand them, because in at the offices they don't have like smartphones. It's like the office phone, you know. Yeah, but where you type in the number. The kids didn't even understand that concept. Dumb kids. I feel like th that's kind of self-explanatory. There's some things that maybe I've never done before, but I could figure it out. I think it's pretty self-explanatory that if it says your mom's name and then a series of numbers, maybe you look at the numbers and you type those numbers and then put your put no, the phone no, but to your but ear. like they were like the office didn't know the mom's phone number, so they were like, oh here, call your mom. Oh, and the kids like what? I was like. I, it kids just blew idiot. my it blew my mind that kids yeah. didn't know how to do that and um they don't know how to read clocks. Oh yeah, a lot of kids don't know how to read a like an analog clock. Why are we not teaching that? Cuz everything's digital. Yeah, but like you could just know it. No, I mean it's a, it's a skill that's nice to use but it's not necessary anymore. Like cursive? Yeah, cursive. Cursive is cool and I wish I was better at it, but it's not really necessary. I mean, I'm only going to use it to sign my name and my signature <laughs> I only write three letters, so <laughs> yeah. People that write, like, the actually thing. write in cursive, like yeah. everything. It's like God, they're always old. Yeah, my mom does like a this. It's not cursive, but it's like a weird combo of both, and it's just really hard to read. I'm like, mom, yeah. this is really cool looking, but it's not practical because I don't know what you're saying when you like write me a card. I used to kind of do that too, but dude, I feel like everyone had a grandma that you just couldn't read their handwriting. Yeah, dude, one of my grandmas would just write in cursive, and it would I would be reading my card on Christmas and be like, "Merry Christmas, Kyle. Ha, I I hope it's like." You'd read your cards out loud? Yeah, because it was always funny because it would always be like a challenge to try uh, to read her yeah. handwriting. Be honest. When you open up a card and there's like... Do I read it? Do yeah, you, I read it. But like, you does your family ever like give you like 20 bucks in a card for yeah. like a birthday? So like, if that's the case, be honest. Do you read, do you, do you try and read it first and ignore the money? Or does you, do you just like... Well, the money, fl money slides out. Grab the money, read the card... But in See the back much. of your mind, you're not even paying attention to the card. You're thinking about the fact that you just got 20 bucks. It's all about the money. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I appreciate, I mean, yeah, but some people don't even write like a long message on the card. They'll say like, love. I, I actually prefer that. John. Yeah. But if somebody gives me like a homemade card, then I'll pay more attention. I always give out homemade cards <laughs> just to all, my entire family. Yeah. And they're just like printer actually, paper. I didn't do it this year. So, yeah, but um, yeah, it's a printer paper folded into fours, and I write whatever the occasion on the cover, inside cover on the left, I draw pictures. On the right, I write a message, and on the back, I draw another picture. Yeah, for those of you like who have never seen Kyle's art, it's uh, well, it's back there. <laughs> yeah, it's it's on our walls in our studio. Um, it's not good. It's not good, but it's very it's, it's famous in my family. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's the thought that counts. Anyways, guys. I have been hyping up this thing that I wanted to talk about with Kyle on this episode. I haven't told him anything, okay? All I've told him is that the other night I was in bed and I was bored and I got on this rabbit hole researching some things online and I read the, the certain things for literally two hours and then I couldn't go to sleep because it kind of like fucked with me. But is it like a scary thing? No, it's not scary. And it's not going to like give you nightmares. It's more of like, I cannot believe that's real. Hmm. It, it's like, so, like I was laughing, but I was crying laughing in my bed. You like were laughing? tears were coming down my face, but it's like a weird, it's not like that's so funny. It's like, holy fucking shit. You know, there's okay. You know yeah, the difference yeah, yeah, between yeah. those laughs. It's like a crazy laugh. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm going insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, anyways, without further ado, so Reddit, of course, it, you uh, can get sucked in. There's a lot of weird shit on Reddit. A lot of really cool stuff, and I found this subreddit, or it was it was a question on the subreddit called Ask Reddit, which is like the most famous one. Um, they said, "What's the creepiest?" glitch in the matrix or unexplainable thing that has ever happened to you okay. so a while ago kyle and i both told stories we've had different scenarios that that are kind of like these glitch in the matrix scenarios where like ghost stories kind of like ghosts like yeah. you told the one of after connor passed yeah there was like a bunch of weird a bunch shit of weird that. shit happened yeah. to you and then i told the story of after uh my grandpa died 
um, I was really little, but I vividly remember we got back and like this one of those books that you open up that sings yeah. when it opens. Oh, it kept singing. Right? It was in. It, it had been closed in a box upstairs for years. That's so. And weird. it started making the song even though it was closed. So. Mm. I was reading through these for like 30 minutes and I thought they were crazy. And then I realized that that was only the most recent ones. It wasn't even the most popular stories. Okay. So like then once I realized, holy shit, I can sort these by like the most upvoted ones ever. Things got even crazier. Okay. So I have quite a few different stories and I just wanted to read them to you and we okay. could just kind of talk about them. Okay. So we're going to start a little more chill and then we'll get into the crazier ones. Someone says... uh. I was on vacation in Florida visiting a friend. We were walking on the beach on a perfectly sunny day when everything went black for a second. What? I think it was weird, but explained it, but I explained it away that my eyes were playing tricks on me uh, until he looked at me and said, did everything just go black for a second? What? So this person thought they were tripping. It's so, like, it's like the Truman show and all the lights just flickered. Yeah. And he's like, what the fuck? Like, all right, I'm not going to say anything. And maybe then they blinked at the same time. But, like, you blink all the time and you don't, you know. Yeah, but they blinked simultaneously for a long, like, sand got in their eyes and they blinked for a while. <laughs> and then they didn't realize that they blinked. And then they're like, whoa, we just both blink at the same time? It could be. It could be, yeah. Um, Wait, but why would that, what is the explanation for that? The sun turned off? I, it's a glitch in the <laughs> matrix, dude. We're in a simulation. Like, I don't even know what that means. Like, the, like. The matrix, the movie, I've seen it. Yeah. But, like. Like a glitch in the matrix is like the whole idea. So that we're like, all electronic. Yeah, it's like as like if the world was all just this like simulation electronic thing, like a there's scenarios when you literally can't explain anything other than the fact that it was like a glitch and like. What if this is all a game? I think we're losing. <laughs> <laughs> like if this was kind of like GTA and people are just controlling our lives. They're yeah, just making us podcast. We're all like someone's character. Yeah. Why then, can't I? Make me a little cooler, guys. Yeah, like, why couldn't you have made me, like, a sumo wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> like, if I'm building well, I'm, a... Can I not be, like, six feet tall, please? If I'm building a character in a game, I'm going to make him, like, 6'9", 450. Yeah. I'm not going to make him 5'10". <laughs> He's going to have, like, a like a, a horizontal mohawk. Okay. You know? Like your headphones? Yeah, it would be, like, a headphones <laughs> on my head. <laughs> that's, a, that's a look. Why don't you get that look? I could get a tattoo the of arch. headphones. Yeah. So yeah. even when the headphones are off, like I'm just a permanent podcaster. You know. I mean, I don't think it would show up well. No. Okay, this one was really weird, okay? okay. It's a little longer. Hit me. This happened around 1991. It's the middle of the night. I'm standing in my sister's living room and it must have been a full moon because even though it's around <laughs> 1 a.m. and the lights are off, uh, I can see clearly. There's a mixing bowl with popcorn kernels in the bottom on the floor in front of the TV and some rental VHS in a pile nearby. I hear a noise and turn around to see my sister's normally uh, very friendly Labrador retriever looking like a cu looking like Cujo. What's Cujo? Uh, I think it's like an angry dog, probably from like a movie or something. Okay. I don't know who Cujo is. Fangs bared, snarling, hackles, hackles raised. What's a hackle? I have no idea. Okay, Hackle? shackles. I think it's like, it's it's a it's a very angry <laughs> dog, upset okay? doggy. Okay, yeah. Uh, suddenly, there's a bright flash of light, and I wake up and I hit the bed from a great height. What? I think that was a weird dream. Okay, so this guy was dreaming that, right? Eventually, I fall back to sleep, and in the morning, I call my sister, planning to tell her, <laughs> planning to tell her the story. But she preempts me by telling me about the weird thing that happened to her last night. Okay, you following Dude, me? Dude, what? They woke up to the sound of the dog snarling at about 1 a.m. Her husband thought there was a prowler in the house, got a gun, and went to find the dog. She was standing in the living room, snarling at the middle of the room. He Dude. couldn't see anyone, so he flipped on the light. No one was there. The dog instantly stopped snarling and walked to her bed like nothing had happened. He checked the property and went back to bed. Ghosts. We talked for a bit and I found out they watched some rental movies and quote, of course we had popcorn. Why? My little sister, uh, my sister is a little woo woo at times. So I decided not to tell her about my dream. She lives about 450 miles away from me. Wait. So this dude was never at her, at his sister's house. 
he had a dream that he was at his sister's house and he was dreaming that in the middle of the night, their dog was snarling at him. Then the next morning, he calls his sister and she tells him that they... Oh, he teleported. He, like <laughs> she, like the dog was snarling at him? In in his dream... Yes, the dog was the snarling. The dog at, was snarling at him. But then that his sister saw the dog snarling at nothing. In real life. Dude, the, what the fuck? At the same night. Dude. <laughs> Dude, isn't what? that crazy? Dude, he just teleported. And in his dream, he saw a bowl of popcorn. And they, they said the night before they were watching rental movies with popcorn. Dude. It's like, uh, you know in Spongebob when he, he jumps from dream to dream? He goes to people's dreams? Yeah. That's like what that's like. Dude. Maybe that's how they got that idea from Reddit, even though. Maybe. I mean, the thing is with Reddit, any of these, like, they could I mean, just could be, be made, made up. up. Yeah. But, like, a lot of these, there's so much detail in them that I can't imagine a lot of people would make these up. We could make up a Reddit story. No, we definitely could. But, like, I don't know. That seems Dude. like a believable thing to me. At first, I was thinking ghosts, and then I didn't realize that he was the guy getting growled at. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> so th this was just the start of my. I night. get why you couldn't sleep. If you're, if this is nighttime and someone's listening to this, sorry. Yeah, man. Um, Shit freaks me out. All right. This person said, "This comment might get buried, but oh well." When I played baseball as a kid, nice. They were handing out trophies at the end of the season. They called out the names of the kids while we received our trophies. There happened to be a kid with the same name as me. We met after the ceremony because it was weird since our last name isn't a very common one. We had Wait, the first and last name is the same? Yeah. So there was a kid with the same first and last name as him. Damn. Okay. We had the same birthday and everything. What? We looked alike. Both our dad's names were Derek. And both of our sisters were named Lily. Oh, my God. That's, those are not like – like, Derek's like a common name, but not for, like, a dad. And it's spelled D-E-R-E-K. Yeah, that's how you spell Derek. It's like D-E-R-R-I-C-K. Who the fuck spells her name? Derek. <laughs> I've seen a lot of those. Derek. All right. I'm the, Derek. <laughs> that's common, right? No, Derek, Derek Rose? Uh, Derek Rose. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, but that's one. I thought Derek Jeter. I thought it was like 50 50. Well, I only know two Derek's. So, so. <laughs> okay. They said, as a kid, I found it cool. As an adult, I find it cool and also disturbing. What are the fucking odds of that, man? That's crazy. This kid has the Lily? same first and last name, <clears throat> same birthday. Yeah. Same dad's name, same sister's name. It's like, imagine you just meet a John Farrar, which is a, Farrar is not a common last yeah. name. He looks like you. It's like, yeah, my dad's name's Steve, sister's name Morgan. And, like, his mom's name is Karen, Dude, which is that's really like, rare. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's like, yeah, I live on a lake. <laughs> like, I have a cat. <laughs> scenarios like that, I don't think that that could be, like, a coincidence. Like, I'm not into the whole woo-woo, like, magical shit. Woo-woo. But, but that's got to be, like, some type of spiritual, like, someone's fucking with you. Dude, how like, does that happen? God is trolling you or something if that happens. In the same town, too. Yeah. How do you not, like, how do you not know that that person lives in your town? I mean, they're young. They were handing out trophies, so maybe he'd like, they had, like, just moved there. I guess. Yeah, imagine if it's, like, you're in like, high school and it's, like, the new kid in class. Yeah. And he has all those similarities. Dude, he just walks in. Hey, what's up? I'm Kyle Stafford. I'm just like... Bitch, what? <laughs> I'm Kyle Stafford. He looks like your twin. <laughs> you have the same name. Oh, my God. Um, I mean, I'm not going to read this this response, but someone was explaining, like someone responded to this comment and said that, uh, so there's this really famous podcast called like Radio Lab, and apparently th they did an episode on like coincidences and just like crazy shit that happened, and there was this one story where um, this girl in England released a balloon. Um uh, with her name and address on it. And apparently this balloon floated like hundreds of miles away. And when it landed, the girl that found it had the same name and like same age and like a ton of similarities Dude. about this girl. Uh, that like, like first, are you talking first and last name? I don't know. It didn't or say. Or it just says like Kyle 21. There's a lot of 21 year old Same Kyles. age, same name, and a bunch of similarities. So I don't know what that really means. But That's really weird, sending a balloon with your address on it and like things about you. 
Yeah, why would you put your address on it? It's I, I guess it's because you want people to know like where this balloon came from, like how far I it traveled. I could send a balloon with my credit card info and my social security <laughs> and just see what happens. Maybe Kyle Stafford <laughs> finds it. No, that's not even the same <laughs> though. Why would you do that? I mean, she released, released her information and it ended up being kind of cool. Yeah. If I release more information, it might be cooler. You, so you're at, you want someone to like steal your identity. No, I just want to find the other Kyle. Okay. The other Kyle Stafford. <laughs> The only other Kyle that doesn't drink Monster. If you found a lost credit card, would you be, like, weird about spending it? I don't think I would spend it. Yeah. I would be nervous. I'm nervous if my mom gives me her card. And I'm like, shoot, what if I have to punch in the number or sign something? Yeah. I get weird about... I don't know, because, like, obviously that's illegal. Well, plus, we both know how it feels yeah. to get your card stolen. Yeah, but I also know that anytime someone has hacked my credit card and used it, They've never caught that person. Yeah, my person flew to Italy. So clearly, it's possible. It's possible to get away with it because it's happened to me like three or four times. Yeah. I think it's kind of ballsy to do a, an airplane flight because yeah. there's already so much security behind that. Yeah, that person just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they got away with it. They're just chilling in Italy now. Um, eating pasta and shit. This one could actually give you nightmares, I think. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay. This person says, uh, I shared this a few years ago when this question was asked last time and didn't really realize how glitch in the matrix it was until people started commenting. In college, I took a hard news slash soft news journalism class where one of the assignments was to write an obituary for one of my grandparents. First That's of all, fucked up. that is kind of fucked like, up. All right. Find someone in your life who's died and then write an obituary for them. It's like, Come on. Well, yeah. but is that what's hard and soft news? Is that, is that the hard news? You gotta deliver I, the hard I, news. Oh, I, dude, I took a journalism class. I should know the difference, but I can't remember. I'm gonna assume hard news is obituaries and soft news is like elephant plays in park. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, that was a terrible example. <laughs> elephants in a park. <laughs> Why would an elephant be in a park? I don't know. Monkey plays ukulele. That's better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the professor told us uh, told us to write it on a deceased grandparent, uh, but if all our grandparents were alive, we had to choose one. That's also kind of <laughs> fucked because they're like, yeah, well, if your whole family's still alive, you got to choose Just one person. Just pretend that Grandpa Dan died. Yeah. <laughs> so you can probably see where this is going. Um, in my case, all of my grandparents were alive. I procrastinated actually doing the assignment until the night before it was due because it seemed like a morbid assignment. Uh, scramming for an easy grandparent to write about, I gave my mom a call. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a bad way of saying it. But there's the scramming for a grandparent to write about. <laughs> yeah, like oh, I just couldn't decide who, who would be who, the easiest to one to be dead. <laughs> yeah, um, I gave my mom a call and asked her for some basic biographical information about my maternal grandfather. Oh, a lucky one. As we were talking about my grand grandpa's career, my mom couldn't recall the name of one of the companies he worked at. She lectured me about waiting until the last minute to write the assignment because it was late, 10:30 p.m. my grandma my grandpa's time. However, I didn't just bullshit it. Who cares? I know. That's the thing. Like, you don't need all this detail. No one even knows if your grandparents are alive or dead anyways. However, she said she would give him a call and see if he was still awake and be able to answer the, the question once oh, my assignment was due the following morning. Don't tell me he died. Go <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. When my mom called my grandpa, my grandma answered the phone in a panic. Oh, my God. My no. grandma frantically explained that the paramedics had just arrived and were performing CPR on my grandpa because he had, he had stopped breathing and lost consciousness. It's her fault. My mom was able to stay on the phone with my grandma until they took my grandma to, grandpa to the hospital where he was declared dead. Oh, my. In the time my mom and I had been talking on the phone about my grandpa's obituary, he was literally dying. His his death was entirely unexpected at that. Although he although he was in his 80s, he was the healthiest of my grandparents at the time. We <laughs> ended up using the obituary that I wrote for the assignment as his actual ob obituary. Oh. She says still freaks me out every time I think about it. Dude, what? She killed her grandpa. <laughs> Dude, I would need therapy after that. Right? And it's like I would like blame myself. I would for the rest of my life. Like, obviously it's just a coincidence or we, th that's what I l would huh. like to think. But yeah. like, dude. dude, out of there's literally 24 hours in a day and the same five minutes that you were talking to your mom, he had a heart attack and stopped. I don't know, man. That's one of those things that I wish I could rewind time and then just see if it would have played out differently. If yeah. she didn't make that call. 
Yeah. Maybe that was just a little. He was so close to death, and that was a little push he needed. <laughs> just a little subconscious push. Here you go, Grandpa. Set him over the edge. Well, we've talked about this before, but how like grandparents, you know, if if one if their spouse dies, but they're also sick, they their body yeah. and their mind can like tough it out until they die, and then they kind of both die like the same day. Mm-hmm. But th- I think that's a lot. That's I mean, that's that, different. That though. makes way more sense, though, because that's like, oh, I lost somebody that was like I was holding on to for, you know. Yeah. And now it's like I start going downhill fast. Yeah. But what if she called him and then he started dying on the phone? That, that would have been, been so even much worse. worse. As he's talking, he's like, hold on, honey. Oh. oh. <laughs> you just hear him like fall over. Oh. Yeah. Damn, Pretty that, tragic. That'd fuck me up. Um. All right. This one's a little more funny. So uh, we can lighten the mood. Let's let's get light. That was dark. (laughs) About two years ago, I went to collect my husband from the ferry after work. I hate that. I hate the way she said that. Why did she collect collect my husband? I got to He's all. He's a big all. Like he's all over the place. He's like. I just picture a big fat guy, and I gotta like (laughs) collect all of him. I'm just picturing a guy that's just like mentally like not there. He's just like (laughs) off the deep end, and he's like running around like. (laughs) (laughs) Should not be on the ferry. Um. All right. So she had to collect her husband. My husband got into the car and as I was driving very slowly out of the car park. Oh, maybe it's like, maybe they're British or something because who says car Car, park? They're British for sure. Is there OURs in there Mm, somewhere? No, not that I see. I I was driving very slowly out of the car park uh, when we both noticed two people standing a few meters in front of our car. It looked as though they were strangers, older looking professionals, both walking to their separate cars in different areas of the car park. The man was reaching into his side bag. Definitely side British. Bag. <laughs> Who has a side bag? <laughs> what even is a side bag? Satchel? One of those like... Do men carry... Oh, I guess like you're a like a laptop case, case yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, the man bag. was reaching into his side bag. Just call it purse. And the lady was further ahead of the man with her head turned to the right. I know the exact positions they were in because they were completely frozen on the spot. What? My husband and I sat there watching the frozen strangers, not saying anything to each other. And then all of a sudden, it was like someone pressed play and the two strangers just continued on like nothing had happened. My husband and I promised to each other that we would never forget how weird that experience was. I can't remember exactly how long they stayed frozen like that, but it was long enough to freak us out. What? <laughs> Dude. So, like, they're just leaving the car park. You just see two strangers just frozen in place. <laughs> oh, my God. What? I don't know, man. See, that's what throws me off is because if these people are, they would be like us because they're not a part of, like, the glitchy matrix. You know what I mean? If yeah. I'm, if I'm, okay. This makes sense in my head. Oh, I, I think. Like, I know like we're talking. on their level. And then there's other random people around the world that are just, like, not really real. You know what I'm saying? Those oh, are the glitching ones. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. I thought I thought what you were going to say is like, if we really were in a matrix, how come it glitches for some people? Yeah. Like the frozen people and not glitching for others. Yeah. Either it could be that. It could be like everyone's on the same level and just like different people glitch. Maybe I've glitched before. I don't know. Um, or there's people like we're all on the same level. Like we're on the same level with the so- those people, the husband that needed to be collected. Yeah. And then there's just other people that maybe those people will never, ever get to know Mm. for whatever reason. Like you could say hi to them and then it's just like, oh, hi. And then they walk away and then. But it's just destiny that you won't. Nobody on our level will ever be close to them. Okay. And they're just on their own. They're like planted here to make the world seem more real. Yeah. Or (laughs) none of that's true. And I have no idea. That's so crazy. I'm just trying to have a solution here. You know how like. Every friend group kind of has, like, one just, like, weirdo. Who's our weirdo? Like, Shim, probably. I mean... But, okay, maybe not in your friend group, but everybody knows someone that's just, like, not even close to the same. I thought that's Chris. (laughs) There's just, like, some humans that you know that you're like, dude, you're just, like... You're different. In a whole other world. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe they're, like, bots that are thrown in, like, in Fortnite... They yeah. throw in some bots just to help everybody out. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what all like the homeless people are. That's kind of fucked cut, up. Cut, the, cut that out, please. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Uh, but maybe that's like that's just that's hopeful, wishful thinking. 
What do you mean? Like, I hope that no one's actually suffering. And then so you hope that all the homeless people are just not real people. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds worse than I meant it. No, I know uh, what you mean. It's it came from no, a good part. There's in my no heart. good way to say it. No, I just sh- shouldn't have said it. <laughs> um. All right, moving on here. Here's a shorter one. Thirty-six thousand upvotes. Taking the trash out at night. Super remote area, so I know for a fact that we're the only ones around here. Ugh. Getting close to the road, and I hear very clearly. Help me from a female voice. Fuck that, dude. dude. I'm not helping. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that like creeped me out. Just Get, the way like. There's just, more. There's more. Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. Was it like a loud help me? Just help it, me. Just hear it clear. He says clearly. So it's not like a, it's not like he's hearing things. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. I hate this stuff. <laughs> there are, I got, I have goosebumps I, right I'm, now. I'm creeped out. I'm sorry if it's nighttime for somebody. I don't like that. There I don't. are times when like. There are times when everybody hears things. You yes, think you hear I've, something. I've had that happen before. I have plenty of times when I think that my dad like yells like, hey, John, mm-hmm. from like across the house, but he didn't. Yeah. But this, okay, so this guy lives in the middle of nowhere. He hears Wait, this. pause. Have yeah. you ever heard like something whispered to you before? Like you think you heard something, somebody no, say something. No, that's Dude, crazy. I had that one time. It was so scary. Did you like whip your head around? Yes. Okay, well, one time I thought I walked through a spider web in my house. In the middle of my house, which there's a chance there was a spider web, but it's a very low chance. Okay. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, spider web? So you definitely felt something on like your I, face. Like, I feel like I walked through something. <laughs> that was so scary. And that same night, I heard, hey. Whoa, I, dude. I, I mean, it could have just been, like, my imagination. Oh, dude, I, I, on edge. Right I know. Now. Just that little, hey, from, like, over my shoulder. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm going to bed. <laughs> and I just, like, put my head under my covers and just went to bed. <laughs> I was 20. It's so funny how, like, you feel protected in covers. Yeah, Like, have you ever tried to sleep on your bed just on top of it? No, I can't do that. I've done it if I'm, like, in the middle of the day taking a nap maybe. Like, really drunk. (laughs) Or drunk, that too. Yeah, drunk, dude, nothing's going to scare me. (laughs) If if I see a ghost, I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm just just like, I need water. Let me go to bed. If I'm drunk, I could sleep, like, anywhere. Yeah. I've Kyle knows a story. I haven't told the story yet. Don't really want to tell the full story. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll tell the full story. But there was a time when I slept on the pavement for like <laughs> 10 hours. Yeah. Like totally on his, just on his fine. back patio. Yeah. Yes. So. Uh, oh, that was funny. Yeah. And that's funny. When you're drunk, like nothing phases you. Yeah. No. Like I, th- I can see why people when they get drunk do stupid things. Because I feel like if I was drunk and got arrested... I don't even think I would care in the moment. Yeah, but that's also one of those things that maybe really sobers you up. Because sometimes there's things that happen that really sober you up. Like, when I was trying to take care of Jordan, I felt sober. But then I got in the Uber and I tried to have a conversation with the Uber driver and I was not sober. Yeah, that is weird. Like, your brain can kind of go into overdrive mode. Yeah, like, if somebody was in a dangerous situation, I think I'd be able to help. Yeah. Now, that doesn't mean that, like, I can perform if you're drunk, you should drive. No, no, like, no. That's not what I mean. But if your life was on the line, there you do kind of have more control than you otherwise would have. Yeah. Um. All right. So he hears this female say, help me. Uh, he's by himself. Yep. He says, even knowing there's n- there's such a slim chance of there being another living person around, I still feel like I should look around and check out. <sighs> Like in this. case I wasn't just hearing things and someone actually needs help. Of course it's at night. Take about two steps in the direction I thought I heard it, and I hear a giggle in the same oh! exact voice. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, like, terrified right now. Oh, I don't like that. I you don't. Did, I'm, you... I'm, like, crying right now. <laughs> because of the story? No, or? I I'm just laughing. My eyes are crying. Or my eyes are watering. <laughs> He took two steps in the direction of the voice and hears a giggle in the same voice. No. He says, I turn back around and walk promptly back to the driveway because yep. fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who actually needed help shouldn't be laughing. So, uh. Oh, my God. So. I'm glad he didn't keep going. Because that's a, that's a thing in the horror movie where they would hear a giggle and be like, walk forward. What's so funny? Or, I'm going to go investigate. Yeah. Who's that? Dude. Yeah. Oh, I want a horror movie where people don't make bad decisions. Yeah, we could make that. Well, but then it wouldn't be as funny or good because yeah, but they would have just. I've probably seen like three good horror movies in my entire life, that like had an actual story and that like actually like what, like Hereditary. I haven't seen it. It was good. 
Um, Insidious, most scary movie I've ever seen. I don't even remember Insidious. I've seen two of them. They're really scary. Conjuring, were those good? I've seen those. I don't oh, really remember them. Um, what's the second? Dude, Annabelle, really scary. I've never seen that. The doll? Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck dolls, dude. I hate them. Yeah, not a fan of creepy dolls. No. Or like any like creepy little girls. Yeah, little girls, old like women. The Grudge. Even though the Grudge movies apparently suck, I just don't. Yeah, I've never old seen women with like weird skin. In, uh, what's the in it? It, oh, it, it too? No, in it too. The old oh, lady. Yeah. Oh yeah, the old lady. I was more around. scared of the old lady than of Pennywise. Yeah, yeah, Pennywise isn't really scary. Um. Oh God. <clears throat> okay, so someone responded to that person's message. Uh, that and they commented and said, uh, and it gives you a warning before their comment that says this comment is potentially disturbing. Oh no. So <laughs> someone oh, someone no. responded to this and said when I was a child my sister and I were walking home from the park and a man called help. We found an open manhole which what, what? what is a manhole? A man you know what a manhole is? No, what's a manhole? Um you know like in front of my old house there's like um that little graded thing it's like you open it up and you could oh, go down to the sewers. Like where Pennywise Hides yeah, but like a manhole is like in the middle of a the street. There's like a circle. Oh, there, there was one in front of my oh, house. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, if they need to get underground and like yeah. do construction. Yeah. Okay. So we found an open manhole, and I could hear a man calling for help, but we could not <laughs> see him. Dude, I was nine and panicking, thought we should crawl in to help. Oh my god. My sister, eleven, I uh, had the good instinct to to get our parents. When we came back. With our parents, the man was gone. As an adult, I can see the whole thing as a ploy. The manhole right next to a, the next to the park. It makes complete sense, but it's still so creepy. Ew. So they think that like there's probably a man. weirdo guy that was next to the park trying to get kids to go down to the manhole with him. Dude. <laughs> so <laughs> imagine like how do you get to that point in your life where you're <laughs> you're trying to lure kids into a manhole? <laughs> Dude, he probably you've read it, and then he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna try this out." Yeah, someone responded to them and said, "You almost got fucking pennywised, dude." Wow, but like that's like the lowest level of pedophilia. Yeah, manholes. Uh, I mean, there's child pornography. And like, who knows what would have happened down there? But like, that's just like you. Could, <laughs> look, I'm not like a child luring expert, <laughs> and that really sounded bad. But I feel like there's probably better ways. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like... Like the, a van, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he thought that, like, if you... Because, like, a van is overtly, like, a dangerous scenario, whereas oh, this... Oh, manhole's not? No, this, maybe he... Like they said, he thought it was, like, a ploy. Like, he could lure people in there because oh. he needs help. Come help. I'm in the sewer. What? Sir, why are you in the sewer? <laughs> the thing is, though, like... There's a ladder. He could get out. But it, what if someone actually was stuck down there? Like, what if it was a construction guy? Because the hole was, the, there was, a, the, the thing was off the top. But it was closed after when they got back? Oh, I don't know if it, they didn't say if it was closed. But Because, like, I mean, if it was still open, I feel like you should probably call 911. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, like, that would kind of be unfortunate if, like, he really needed help. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's um scary. All he, right. He was nine-year-old by himself. Or it was, was his a sister. He was 11. Yeah, or yeah. Uh, this might have been a girl too. How I don't old know. should you be to go to a park by yourself? Or like, um, I mean, if there's manhole prowlers, like if you're not, like if they didn't have a sibling and you're like eight. Yeah, I'm that, trying to think of how that, old I was when I went off on my own. I don't know. Not like on my own, but with a group of people. I'm trying to think of when my parents let me like stay at home by myself when they would go places. Well, staying at home, I, I probably stayed at home when I was like ten, nine or ten. But that's like almost that's different than going out in public yeah, yeah, by yeah. yourself. Like uh yeah, I probably went to the park when I was ten, maybe. What grade are you when you're ten? Fourth, third or uh, fourth. Okay. Yeah, fourth or fifth. Yeah, that's probably like a good time. I feel like like second and third grade is a little too early. It I also feel depends like. where you live too. Yeah. Yeah. We were in a good area. Um well prowlers are everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Um we good to keep going? Uh, yeah, I guess. There's there's one I have to try and think of where it is. <laughs> there is one I that didn't like that giggling one. Was that the really the last me. one I read and it just blew my mind. Oh, oh, there's one that you're going to hate. Um all right, we're just going to keep going. Okay. I was working on my motorcycle in a dirt lot. 
uh, where I ha- where I had crashed it doing a sick drift, oh breaking off the, <laughs> breaking off the clutch lever and the gear shifter. That is Kyle. <laughs> his name was probably Kyle. Well, his name is Steampunker. Steampunker thirteen. Short for Kyle. <laughs> Short for Kyle. <laughs> um, breaking off the clutch lever and gear shifter. I had brought a wrench set with me, and I was using one of them to take off a bolt when I put it down on the ground to finish unscrewing the bolt with my hand. All right, you follow. So I'm using the wrench, a bolt. set it in the dirt or the ground, and then finished it with his hand. Two minutes <laughs> I love la- finishing with my hand. <laughs> Two minutes later, I went to pick it back up, and it was gone. I ran all over, or I ran all around this dirt lot looking for it to no avail. Luckily, I had a spare one in the car. I fixed the bike and drove it back to my apartment to shower as I was filthy. I walked in my room, and sitting on my desk was the wrench. Oh, I was dumbfounded. Oh, God damn it. That's crazy. Now, if this guy has two wrenches, there's a good pro- pro- probability no, 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 no. that he has a third wrench. Yeah. But according to him, he only had two wrenches, and one of them just mysteriously appeared on his desk. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like I've had stuff happen to me like that where I, I set something down, and I swear I set it there, and then it ends up being somewhere else. Yeah. But I never really care that much you know how like there's times when you'll play something down and you're not like consciously paying attention to it and so you set it in a weird spot and then like you're looking for it the rest of the day and then the next day you find it you're like oh my god it's i can't exactly believe i put the, it there well i've also had where it's exactly where i was looking for it but i just didn't uh, see it or yeah, i didn't yeah, notice yeah. it like if i drop my phone somewhere and then i'm like looking everywhere and i'm like okay what the heck and, and it's then, right in front of your face yeah and then i just like glance down and it's like right there yeah but what I was saying, so like, you know how sometimes you don't pay attention and so it's easier to lose something because you're not consciously yeah, thinking yeah. of like, this is where I'm setting it. But there's been times in my life where like, I'm going to say like, all right, I am putting my phone on this counter at the spot. So that way, like there's, you know, there's differences in your brain where you're like, I'm consciously yeah. thinking of this so that I don't forget it. And it's like a mental note. There's times when I do that and I swear on my life that I put something <laughs> somewhere and I'm like, I'm like, Dad, you don't understand. I know that I put it there. And then just I, how you swear that I have different gym shoes. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> a that's a conspiracy. <laughs> Dude, I don't. Kyle's gym shoes. I have a totally different memory of what they look like. I've had the same ones. No, you had these white. So your gym shoes are white. Yes. But the gym shoes that you bought that I remember. <laughs> They have a strap on them that nope. has a color. It's nope. like a colored strap. Nope. And then there's a bunch of color all around the shoe. No. Never. <laughs> Not one time have I ever had those <laughs> shoes. Ever. Ever. Are there ever times when, like, you swear you know something better than the person who, like, it's their own thing? <laughs> yeah. Is that what you think right now? Like, I... Yeah. This is one of those scenarios where, like, I feel like I know your shoes better than you. <laughs> I haven't gotten new shoes in, like... These my Air Force ones are the latest shoes that I've gotten, and that was in almost a year ago. Yeah, I don't know, man. Dude, I promise. <laughs> All right, so this one is really cool. I once clocked out of work at six p.m. like I always did at the time, and began my hour-long train ride home. Mm. Fuck that, yeah, dude. That's what Karina does. Dude, having to take a train or any sort of transport for like an hour. Or more to and from work. Yeah. Dude, that's like your whole day. Yeah. Some people like get stuck in rush hour. Like if you tried to commute to work in LA and you drive, it probably Dude. takes so long. Yeah. I, it would have to be a really cool job for me to spend an hour both ways. I would just try to find a different way. There's got to be a bus or something. Or like, I would like, I don't know, man. Because yeah, buses like, are faster because they can use different ways. Yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> For those of you listening, I'm like doing this with like the Spock or whatever the, the fuck that is. Is that Spock? I don't know. It's like I haven't seen Star peace Trek. Sign? Isn't this like a peace sign? It's like a Star, Star Wars. Trek. This is a nerd thing. Yeah, <laughs> you were doing that. I don't know why I was doing that. Um, all right. After I found a seat, I went to sleep and woke up just before my station. Risky move, falling asleep on a public train. I yeah, know, I wouldn't man. do that. That's like um, stuff stolen. From the station, it's a short bus journey home, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. During the entire journey, I didn't use my phone and I don't wear a watch, so I didn't really notice the time anywhere. When I reached home, my family surprised me with, you're home early, everything all right? I looked at the wall clock and it is about to be 6 p.m. 
I was too shocked to understand what had happened. Checked other watches, cell phones, etc., and the time is absolutely right. A few days later, the admin emailed us the timesheets for the month, uh, times clocking in and out, and every single day for me was around the same 6 p.m., so it certainly wasn't me having left work early. What? <laughs> to this day, I, have, I haven't figured out how I gained between 60 and 90 minutes that day. So Dude, this, this guy clocked out of work at 6 p.m. Hey, that's big time. And then got home at 6 p.m. <laughs> Wait, but he like teleported home basically? Because he fell asleep, right? Yeah, he fell asleep and then took another 15-minute bus ride and then walked in the door and it was 6 p.m. What? <laughs> Dude. Dude, how the hell? Like, and I don't know. I was thinking maybe it was one, like a daylight savings thing. Yeah, that's but what that, I was thinking. But that takes place at like midnight. Yeah. And a lot of states don't even do that shit anyways. So Maybe he works between states. <laughs> Well, no, that would because he, he would have known, known that. Know, yeah. yeah, I don't, dude. I, I, um, that's crazy. Yeah, maybe he was really fast that day. The buses were running quick. <laughs> and then I don't know. Like I was reading some of the replies to that, and people were like, a lot of people were actually relating to that and said, "There's been times where shit like that has happened to me," and, and no one knows. They're like, all I can think of is maybe somebody else lost an hour. So, like, he gained an hour, and <laughs> so then, like, does. some random guy, like, went to sleep for 10 minutes and woke up, and it had been, like, an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I've, hey, that's happened to me a hundred times. <laughs> yeah. Um, Imagine losing an hour, or, yeah, losing an hour at work. It's, like, 5.50, and you're about to get off, and then you look at the clock, and it's, it's like, 4.50. <laughs> you're like, wait. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Um, okay, this one's, maybe, maybe you can relate to this, because there's times that I've had scenarios like this. He says, uh, I've told this story before and could go into a ton of detail, but here's the short version. I'm 100% sure I vividly remember a dog that apparently doesn't exist. What? When I was 16, we lived on the other side of the province and my uncle had this little Jack Russell named Crew. Crew went missing for several months and then turned up at a humane society uh, over an hour away and we were all shocked that this little dog had made it so far. Anyways, that was almost 20 years ago. And the other day I was, I was talking to my parents and was like, whenever I hear about Jack Russell's, I think about crew and that stunt and that stunt he pulled and they had no idea what I was talking about In insisted. My uncle had never had such a dog and I must've dreamt it. Maybe your parents have dementia. Honestly, anyone else uh, who would have remembered this dog has been dead for a long time. And I don't have any pictures of my uncle. I have absolutely no way to prove this dog existed, but I'm sure he did. There's times when, like, I have, I swear I have some memory of the way that, like, life was yeah. back when I was younger or, like, some <laughs> event we did that's so vivid in my mind. But everyone else in my family is like, one, why do you remember that detail? And two, like, I don't even think that we did that. Yeah. I, I kind of have that, too. But maybe, he, I mean, if he, how young did it say he was? Or did it really say? When he was 16. Oh. Well, that's, that's a very that's, reliable that's different. Yeah. age. I was going to say, if he was, like, six... He could have just been talking about some Jack Russell Terrier and her family. His, their family's just like, yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, he's in the over an hour away. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your imaginary. Did you ever have an imaginary friend? No, dude, I had one. My parents have been telling me that I had one. What was its name? Lodian. Lodian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what did you do with Lodian? I don't know. Was I it? don't. I don't remember Lodian, but my parents keep talking like I had this friend named Lodian. Well, that's kind of creepy, dude. That's I don't weird. Know. Imaginary friends are fucking weird. I mean, I don't think I hung out with them all the time, but like there was like a, nah, small, you a did. small portion of my life where it's like, yeah, me and Lodian are going to go in the backyard or something. <laughs> I don't remember it at all. But Lodian. Lodian. See, now, I don't know what, 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 what would. Sorry. <laughs> no, I was just going to say what would make this a true glitch in the Matrix scenario is if you have a kid and your kid has an imaginary friend named Lodian. How weird would that be? Well, it could be if I ever mention it to him, he adopts the idea of Lodian. Mm. Or what would be creepier is if Lodian was a real person and there's like pictures of me and my parents are like, <laughs> yeah, that's you and Lodian. <laughs> You're like, what the shit? Fuck? Yeah. Also, I don't, what kind of name is Lodian? <laughs> I have no idea. I could see some like prestigious Lodian. prodigy piano player. My name's Lodian. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, my parents said... I thought it was short for Nickelodeon, maybe, but that doesn't make sense. And then they also said that, like, one of my neighbors had a friend named Logan, 
that I maybe I thought was cool or something. So and you I, changed it to Lodian. <laughs> I think I maybe thought his name was Lodian. I don't know, dude. Why do you think Logan was cool? It's like a very normal dude, name. I don't know. I was like four. <laughs> All right. I think. Um. Oh, this one's kind of fucked. My ex-wife and I were sleeping. There was a small silver of light, or small sliver of light coming in through the window from a street light. So the room and bed were dimly visible. Our black Pomeranian was at the end of our bed asleep. Ew. Why do you have a black Pomeranian? What's a Pomeranian? Uh, Pico. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, I dreamt that I woke up, reached down to pet him, and that he turned into a glassy, glossy black bival- bivalve oyster thing. What's bivalve mean? I have no idea. Okay. Well, he dreamt that it turned into a glossy black oyster thing. What? Which happened up... To reveal rows of gleaming gl- glass teeth, I woke up to my ex pedaling, back pedaling up the bed over the pillows towards the wall. So like, so he was petting this dog, yeah, and it turned into a black shiny oyster thing with glass teeth. Okay, what the and fuck? then <laughs> then he woke up and his wife's like, like, oh shit, yeah, like like backing up, yeah. You, did you get what he was describing? Like she like, was like backing away. Yeah, like backing away on the bed up and like up to the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! But like she was like asleep or like kind of was having a nightmare. Oh. So he asked her, "What's wrong?" She said, "What is that shiny black clam thing with teeth at the end of the bed? Where's the dog?" Oh. We had the same nightmare at the same time. A ghost. Dude, dude, I would get rid of that dog so <laughs> quick. That dog is not surviving. Well, it might survive, but I'm getting yeah. giving it away <laughs> to someone I hate. Because if you don't give it away, it's probably gonna kill you. Yeah, see, that's How? like a mistake made in. Yeah, but imagine it's your dog. You don't want to give your dog away. Imagine Grossy. <laughs> I just called her Gross. Rosie. Uh, I mean, that kind of was yeah, her name, but I didn't even mean to call her that. Yeah. Imagine Rosie had like turned into a clam. And like was scary. Imagine Rosie just seemed haunted. You, but you Rosie's wouldn't want to give so up. So harmless that like I would know that it was just a dream. Exactly. Like, yeah, but what if it felt so real? <laughs> I just, just don't understand. Like that is what blows my mind about like human nature and just the human like spirit. The fact that dreams are already crazy, and the fact that two people that are like together can have the same dream. How? How were their brains connected like that? Like, what's the force that connects our thoughts? Well, they're in these married, weird so times. they're very bonded. Well, they're they're not married anymore. I wonder if the <laughs> clan broke them up. Maybe one of them wanted to get rid of the dog. And one of them <laughs> yeah. didn't. Maybe, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Someone responds and says, "Sorry that your dog was haunted." <laughs> um, okay. You you having fun? We good yes, to keep going. Yeah, well, uh, fun. <laughs> yeah, it's it, this is interesting and terrifying. Yeah. All right, moving on here. This person says, I was driving about 50 miles an hour and a car ran a stop sign on an on-ramp and pulled out right in front of me. I remember bracing for impact and then I was about 300 yards down the highway and I saw the car at the ramp in my rear view mirror just about to pull out. So this person's just like seeing shit. What? So they like, like we're driving on the highway and they, someone ran the stop sign. It was about to run into them on the highway. Yeah. And they're about right as they brace they for impact. They close their eyes. Maybe they closed their eyes and kept driving and didn't realize <laughs> and opened them. They're like, oh. Yeah. And as they closed their eyes, they like floored it on accident. Yeah. And the other person slammed on the brakes. So that's how they. That's the most plausible. That's the most plausible. <laughs> but hey, maybe somebody was saving them and just like propelled them forward. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Um, <laughs> someone res- responded to them and said, as someone who just watched all the final destination destination movies, I can confidently say that you're going to die. <laughs> um, okay, this one is one of the coolest. Like, I could not believe this shit. <laughs> okay, I could not believe it. My friend Sarah was in a nightclub, drunk off her face. Nice. When she got an overwhelming urge to tell a total stranger that her leg hurts. <laughs> and they put in parentheses, it didn't, by the way. <laughs> hey, my leg hurts. <laughs> yeah. There okay, are times Sarah. when, like, I have these ideas when I'm drunk that, like, are actually really funny. Like, in the moment, I'm like, maybe this is just a drunk idea that's not funny. Start writing them down. Drunk but idea. then I realize they're actually funny ideas. Okay. So it says, uh, all a bit strange. She ignores it. 
but it doesn't stop. So this urge just keeps nagging at her. She has to tell somebody yeah, her leg hurts. But it doesn't stop. So she walks up to this guy and says, I know this is crazy, but I've got a huge urge to tell you that my leg hurts. I know it's crazy again. I'm sorry. Okay? Wouldn't be shocked if someone walked up on me and said that. Yeah. And like everyone's drunk. You're just at a bar. Someone's like, hey. like, oh, what the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> Get this. He bursts into tears. Turns out his dad had just died the day before and they made a pact before he died that if there was an afterlife, he would get a message to him saying a totally random oh, phrase. What the fuck? So there could there could be no mistake, and they decided on the phrase was gonna be "I've hurt my leg." My, I just got so many chills. Dude, I'm still going. oh my god, that's insane. What? That's so cool though. That's awesome. So his dad and him agreed that he was going to just they were going to pick just a random phrase dude what and the next day some girl comes up ah, dude that's like he better marry that girl <laughs> right that's like, like how uh, that's the start of a love story yeah a i mean un unless he was like 60 and she was like 21 uh, at a nightclub i don't know <laughs> how come 60 year olds never go to nightclubs because <laughs> they're sleeping yeah so Dude, I don't know, man. That's crazy. Stuff I, like that just blows my mind. I believe that. Yeah. Because I believe that there's some sort of like force, spiritual shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. All Damn. right. That's shout out to Sarah. Yeah. Like, there's plenty more, but for the sake of time and everything, this will be the last one. Okay. okay. This one's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Um. He says, I was about 12 years old and woke up in the middle of the night needing to take a leak. Oh, no. I walked across the hall to the little bathroom, oh. hit the lights, and was about to reach for the toilet when I glanced up and saw a face in the mirror. No. <laughs> I was waiting for that. No. I don't like that. Okay. So he looks up. He sees a face in the mirror. It was not my face. No. It was as if someone was on the other side standing to the right. With their face right next to the glass, staring at me. I only saw it for the briefest moment, but it was seared into my brain. I screamed and ran out to find my dad. Of course, my dad investigated, then calmed me down or tried to. Eventually, we had a prayer session because I was so freaked out. Eventually, I must have gone back to sleep. Fast forward to my 30s. Oh, no. It's back. <laughs> this gets haunted. <laughs> Best. Um, um, maybe when I get scared, my eyes water because my yeah, eyes are maybe, like dude, You're like, you're like crying uh, over here. Um, okay. Fast forward to my thirties. I'd forgotten all about the event. One night while visiting, uh, my dad quietly brings it up. Uh, Remember that one time you saw a face in the mirror? It suddenly came back to me in a rush of memory, sending a chill down my spine. It was his dad's face. Yeah, I remember. Well, he said. I sometimes think about that night. He looked down at the floor with a serious expression. I saw it too. Oh. <laughs> oh. He went on to describe exactly what I'd seen. We have no idea what it what that was. Apparently, when the when he investigated, he saw it and had a had a freak out of his own. Apparently, the prayer session was as much for him uh, as it was for me. I respect him for keeping that tidbit from me till my 30s, but I kind of wish he never told me. <laughs> I can see you have goosebumps right now. Yeah, dude. dude your hair's standing up. Dude. dude, what the hell? Wait, so like he saw it in the, in the same bathroom when he walked in to investigate? Yeah, so like he, oh, this, he saw this it. kid saw a face and he screamed, ran to get his dad. His dad comes in, sees the same fucking face. <laughs> dude, kudos to that dad for not freaking out. If I saw that, I would have punched the mirror or like shit my yeah pants. i would have like thrown my kid in <laughs> at the mirror. stiff arm the kid and close the door lock him in the bathroom lock him in. <laughs> sorry kid take him oh man yeah. hey that's a great that's dad of the year right there yeah man and the fact that he also like was able to just not tell anyone about this experience for like 20 years yeah like i would have needed to go see a therapist or something i'm so fortunate that i've never experienced any sort of like haunting no me or either. like felt any like s creepy supernatural presence well other than that one time yeah but that was kind of like a wholesome well experience. i had like a comforting one but then i had the one the spider web one and the, and the oh, hay that yeah. one was scary but i i 
But I think I would. Yeah. You were able to like, get over it and go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so yeah, guys, this was fun. I, I, I wanted to mix it up. We always try and find something new to do on this podcast. And <sighs> we love that our podcast has no like guidelines, no rules. We can really do whatever we want. And so I just love shit like that. And I, I'm going to make more of an effort, like maybe once a month or something, I'll go on Reddit and just try and find some like weird subreddit that has crazy shit. Because, There's always great stuff on Reddit. Yeah. And that, and what's so cool about that is that like, these are just regular people with like, everyone has some story that mm -hmm. is like good for a conversation. And what's cool is that we probably never would have met these people, but now we get to talk about their horrifying life stories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we're going to hop into the segments now. Let's get it. Um, who is your A of the week, Kyle? Um, rats. Uh, it is the year of the rat. Mm. And um, I also saw a video of a homeless man that has, was doing tricks with rats. Like he had a group of rats and he would like doing tricks <laughs> with them. <laughs> so you're the rat. That's kind of cool. So don't, don't kill your rats. Even though my, oh, I have rats in my attic. Yeah, and you're letting them live there comfortably. No, I think we just got an exterminator. Oh, <laughs> you're going to be cursed then. You're killing rats during the year of the rat. Yeah, that's bad juju. The rat king is going to come. I didn't, I'm not killing the rats. My mom made the decision, so <laughs> oh. my mom's going to get haunted. So you're just putting the blame on her. Yeah. Wow. Yes, I am. Okay. Why do we have a year of the rat? Well, Can't it's we have, China. Like, the year of like the, the donkey. Or it's the Chinese. Oh, the Chinese every year have. Yeah, it's not like someone just decided this. This is rat. I thought here. it was kind of like a national holiday, but no, it's no. like twenty. Oh, I mean, it's I don't know. It's from China's. It, they have like I don't really know, dude. I'm not. They're count. <laughs> okay. I know what you mean though, because they every New Year's like they have that big festival. Well, it's always in like February. Oh, okay. That's what's weird to me is that different parts of the world have like a totally different calendar. Even. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Like different countries have like different New Year's and That's like confusing. their whole calendar just is entirely different. Uh, like it's so weird that like we could we, be yeah, in December is, and like other parts of the world aren't in December because to them December doesn't exist. It doesn't make sense that we start in January because it's such a random time in the winter. Like if it would make more sense if it was like the winter equinox or winter solstice. I mean, yeah. Or yeah. Or like, December, or like the summer solstice. Or yeah. Or something. something like that. Yeah. That would make way more sense. Yeah, it is. Why, why? Why is it just like a little bit into winter? Dude, I feel like everything about like just like culture and like time and seasons like and like just like the metric system and like everything is like so cluttered. Like our New Year's is in the middle of the seasons. Well, I, and I like, think that's I think that's a Christian one because it's like Jesus was born on Christmas and then it's like okay. a week after. So I think yeah. it's like the Christian New Year that. I guess everyone is adopted, like the yeah. U.S. adopted. I don't know. But, like, everything's just so, like, mixed up. Like, we we measure in the – um, it's the metric system and the what? What's um, the other system? The really shitty one that we have. <laughs> yeah. And, like, so we decide to use feet instead of meters. It's so and dumb. And that gets all fucked it up. No, the metric system's great. Like, we use it in science class, like physics and stuff. It's it's great. Way better. <laughs> so much easier. Makes way more sense. Feet and inches. And then there's, like, the temperatures. Bullshit. There's Fahrenheit and Celsius. Yeah. And but that gets all fucked up. You know why? We adopted it because the British had it, and they brought it over here, and we kept it, and then the British just changed to the metric system, and so we haven't. <laughs> they just left us with the shitty. So it's the British people's fault. Why didn't we, like, change it, change it's, it at it's some point? It's too late now. <laughs> but, yeah, that would have been way easier. Yeah, man. Um... All right. Well, my A of the week is the universe because okay, okay. we got rats in the universe <laughs> and uh, the universe is winning because they're being gifted with a national treasure three movie. Oh, <laughs> yes. I've heard about this. So, uh, yeah, I saw that. Uh, we talked about Nicolas Cage recently. Yeah, we were just talking about Nicolas Cage and literally the day after we talked about it on the podcast, IGN posted on Instagram National Tre Treasure 3 is currently in the works at Disney with Chris Brenner, who wrote Bad Boys for Life, writing the script. So, Nicolas Cage is back in action. Are we sure he's in it? I mean, it's a photo of him. Damn so, it. like, yeah, he's in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not National Treasure without Nicolas Cage. That's true. That's true. He's got to, like, pour some water on some map and then, like, a whole <laughs> world discovers and goes, oh, my God. That's it. 
<laughs> that was a good impression. I don't think it was. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He's God. He's just like boring white. That yeah. is what he is. So I don't know, guys. I just thought that was hilarious because I don't know, man. Like, are people going to see that? Like, are I, people I want gonna to care. I'm not going to see it in like theaters, but like that's one something that it's a bad movie that I want to see. Yeah. Like I'm going to see it for the memes and maybe they're just like, trying to capitalize on that. I want to see the cats movie too. Mm. I, I'm going to see that. Movie. I don't. I'm, I will have nightmares. I'll, I'm more likely to have a nightmares from the cats movie than all those stories that we just read. I, yeah, that's possible. You know, like they, um, Jason Derulo's like dick was too big. So they, <laughs> I, I think I, I remember what? Jason Derulo's dick was too big that it was bulging in, a, in that suit. Okay. So they had to like <laughs> find a way to like make it less visible. I think, wow. I, I, I think I read that somewhere. Jason Deru- I mean, you had to, there's no way you just came up with that. Right, I, I heard that somewhere. I don't, maybe it wasn't from cats, but there was like, the big thing, like a month ago, about Jason Derulo's dick being huge. I mean, so shout out to Jason Derulo. Maybe he's my other A. Damn, dude! Imagine he's like, oh, imagine like hooking I mean, up maybe with he's, him. Like he can sing in your I don't ear. Want to do that? He's got a huge cock. He can dance. <laughs> he can dance. He just goes, Jason Derulo. That's all I know him for. Is that one line? Just saying his name. Yeah. Um, Kyle, who's your F of the week? Yeah, actually, I have two. One is Ozzy Osbourne. Um, this is a sad one. Our sweet king has Parkinson's. Hmm. So we got Bieber with Lyme, and now Ozzy has Parkinson's. Oh, no. So he's going to be shaking. It's amazing that he's alive, <laughs> honestly, from all the drugs and everything he's done. Did he do a lot of drugs? Is yes. Is that a known thing? Yes. Oh. Like, I don't know anything Like the about most Ozzy. of like anybody, I think. Oh. He, he is so fucked up, but he's alive. Do you think he's done heroin? Yeah, probably. Whoa. Well, I don't know. I don't know, Ozzy, but... Lots of coke, though. So Tons much. Tons of coke. So much. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's got Parkinson's, so he's a little shaky. All right. He's hanging in there. Yeah. Um, and then the other one is the U.S. Space Force. So it, we have this army or like a th- military in space now. This is like an official thing? Yeah, I think Trump wanted it. Okay. Um, And they're wearing camo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what are we hiding from? Yeah. What are we hiding in the bushes in space? Imagine, like, you trained your whole life to, like, be in, like, the <coughs> army or something, and then you get assigned to fucking Space Force, and you just, like, <laughs> you're so visible in space. You're also not fighting anyone. Anyway. Yeah, that's the thing. You literally are just going to fucking sit there. Yeah, I guess. Now, I'm not saying aliens don't exist. I don't think it's fighting for, against aliens. I think it might be fighting against other countries, like, maybe. In space. I think, I don't know, dude. It, <laughs> I think Donald Trump wanted it for some reason. He that thought it was good. Be <laughs> so lame. Like you're just that's what we're spending our tax dollars yeah. on. Is Space Force with our stupid camo uniforms. They look cool, but it's just you're not blending in. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it just seems very unnecessary. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not one to get big into conspiracy theories, and I I do think we did go to the moon, mm-hmm. but it is really weird that no one's been to the moon since. Isn't that weird? Because um, they went in like what what year was that? Uh, sixty two, four, three, one, zero. What year did sixty two land? You think it's nineteen sixty nine? Damn it, dude! It's twenty twenty. Yeah. How have we for fifty one yeah. years not gone back to the moon? I think we have, right? No, no, no. no. We've never been not back to the moon since. Somebody's gonna be on the moon. No. No one's been to the moon. Are you sure? It's only Neil and Buzz? Yes, they're the only ones. Damn. Has anyone been to... I'm almost positive. Somebody better moonwalk on the moon, (laughs) or I'm going to go insane. Next person on the moon needs to moonwalk. (laughs) I'm pretty sure I listened to a podcast where Neil deGrasse Tyson explained why we haven't been back. Yeah, we've never... Yeah, humans have never been back since the Apollo missions. That is a little... It's a little suspicious. A little suspicious. I still believe it, but that is a little suspicious. Yeah. Didn't Elon say like 2024 we're going? He wants to go to the moon. I don't know, man. Could Elon someone just like a spend a lot of money and just go to the moon just for more proof? Please. Yeah, just so we can shut up all the people yes. that think it's fake. God, all those stupid white people that think it's not real. All the Karens of the world. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, my F this week is honestly. I gave him an, an F just because I had to put Nicolas Cage as the A. I'm really not <laughs> sure if this is an A or an F, okay? Okay. So it's going to be up to you guys. Uh, you can let us know because, quite honestly, I don't know what the fuck this is. Kansas man asks judge to allow him to have a sword fight with his ex-wife. All right. 
<laughs> Did they let him do it? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, sword fighter, he's talking like real swords or like yeah. dick war. No, real swords. Well, I guess she doesn't have a dick. The plaintiff. What's a plaintiff? Is that the person? Plaintiff is somebody. The person in, in court. court. Yeah. The plaintiff also asked the judge for 12 weeks time so he could secure Japanese samurai swords. Of course. So 12 weeks for just to get good swords? <laughs> Come on. I Real samurai sword. People could be dying here, right? Yeah. Like one little chop and his hand is yeah. gone. A Kansas man has asked an Iowa judge to let him engage in a sword fight with his ex-wife and her attorney so that he can rend their souls from their bodies. That is drugs. Uh, <laughs> that is what drugs David do. David Ostrom, 40, of Paula, Kansas, said in, in a January 3rd court f- filing uh that his former wife bridget ostrom uh and her attorney matthew hudson had destroyed him legally uh the ostroms have been embroiled in disputes over custody blah 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 so now he wants to destroy them physically oh so i'm gonna assume the judge didn't let this happen because this guy literally wanted to actually sword fight kill his how's this guy get in court who let him in court The judge had the power to let the parties resolve our disputes on the field of battle legally. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, the judge let it? It's Kansas. The judge had the power to let the parties resolve our disputes on the field of battle legally, David Ostrom said. Wait, really? Adding in his filing that trial by combat, quote, has never been explicitly banned or restricted as a right in in these United States. Oh, dude. I See... So I, need, I want more of that. I want more of like if somebody is sexually assaulted and they just want to beat the shit out of that person, let them just like they deserve it. Ring. Yeah. Put them in a ring and like tie their hands or something <laughs> or like give that person a weapon. But then what if the other person beats the shit out of them again? We'll just make sure that they, they can't okay. like, tie okay. them up so they can just like hog time and then let the other person just rail on them. Oh, my God. What? They deserve it. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm down for that. But in this scenario, getting a divorce doesn't no, that- qualify <laughs> you to get your head cut <laughs> not, off. Not, of saying, not saying that's good. Um, yeah. He also asked the judge for 12 weeks time, blah, blah, blah. I'm just trying to find out what the judge said. Okay, this is a quote. I think I've met Mr. Hudson's absurdity with my own absurdity, Ostrom said, adding that his former wife could choose Hudson to act as her champion. Oh, so he was going to be like, hey. I'll fight the lawyer. I'll fight the lawyer, and he'll kind of be in place of you. He wants to fight somebody. (laughs) Let him just fight. Whoa. Hudson argued in his legal response that because a duel could end in death, such ramifications <laughs> likely outweigh those of property tax and custody issues. Why is this like actually an argument? <laughs> why does he have to present a real argument? Yeah, like why does he even have to defend this? Why can't he just be like, I'm not going to fucking sword fight you, dude. <laughs> um, this is another quote. Until the proper procedural steps to initiate a court proceeding are followed, this court will take no further action concerning any motion, objection, or petition filed by either party at this time. Okay. So the sword fight didn't happen. No. Maybe once he gets out, they but can set it But it sounds up. like they're kind of putting it on hold, though. <laughs> so it's a maybe. <laughs> so there's still a chance. <laughs> All right. That would be kind of crazy, though, if, like, one day there's, like, some shit in court that goes down and they're like, all right, here's the deal. Like uh, they're like, I'll let you off or I'll give you a deal. But the deal is you'll get all these charges will be ignored, but you have to go fight in a ring with this other guy. Yeah. And it's going to be televised Uh, and people can come and like watch. And uh, that'd be nice. And all the money just goes towards like, like preventing that whatever happened. Yeah. That or like, um, just good things like, teacher benefits or something yeah Yeah. but like it sounds cool but when it comes down to it i really don't think i would want to ever watch someone die no oh no i don't want to watch someone die like you know people like the gladiator arenas used to be a thing yeah it was just like an excursion to go like watch someone get murdered but i feel like back then maybe you would have liked it they were all fucked up in the head (laughs) back then a lot of incest yeah you know yeah so yeah all right. Anyways, <laughs> what do you have for the for uh movie time yeah all right moving on to our last segment here uh movie time i have two this week 1917 is an absolutely fantastic war movie i saw it with Love uh war. with Love war movies. 
And it's kind of cool because it's World War One, And so, I don't know. I feel like 90% of war movies are World War Two, yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. I just got kind of sick of World War Two. More movies. Hitler. It's like, oh, yeah, it's like I've Nazis. seen everything about World War Two in movies. So, I thought it was cool they did World War One, And as you guys have probably seen advertised or whatever, the reason this movie is like a cinematic feat is because the whole movie is filmed to look like it's one continuous shot. Oh, I yeah, didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that. No, oh, know so that. one of the big things they've been marketing this movie is like it truly is a cinematography like feat that has never been done before. Like it th- there's so many years have been put into planning how they're going to make this movie because when you watch it, it's literally it's not It never cuts to like it somewhere else. It never cuts. Wow. It's like one continuous it's like a play. shot. Yeah, I mean the thing is is like from what I've read, there is probably between like six and ten cuts. That's but, still amazing. But they do it so well that like, like for example, there might be like a big explosion and it gets bright and yeah. then it'll it'll cut like right there, oh. so you can't really tell that it cut. So that's the thing. Like the whole movie, you never even notice a single cut, and it literally looks like you're just following these characters for two hours. Oh my god, that's so cool. Because I this is something weird. I've always wondered in movies like. I've thought about the the timeline mm-hmm. and I think okay this movie's 2 hours like what actually would happen in the span of 2 hours in this person's life Like have you ever thought about that what like you if mean? you <laughs> I don't know maybe this is just a weird thing that I've thought about before that like if I'm watching a movie I think about in 2 hours that's how much that's how long the movie is Yeah what if we just actually followed this person the entire time like Oh, so you're saying it's not because like, like the movie could be two hours, but it's the span of like two days. Yeah. In the in like two hours is really like a short amount of time. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying like, what if we just followed this person's life for two hours of their real life? Like yeah. What their or, life would be. Or what if just the movie was just like that, like one whole yeah, yeah. section of time? Because yeah. Because it's always like cut. It, it's like three days or something cut into two hours. Yeah, yeah. There and I mean, I don't know. It really. I'm a nerd for this shit, but like when I explain it to like my family and to people, I really try and get them to realize like how insane that actually is. Mm -hmm. Like that is insane that they were able to coordinate dude. Cause there's like, it's a war movie. So there's like thousands of like extras involved. There's explosions, there's battles. You gotta know all your lines. Yeah. And the fact that these actors, like you said, it is like a play where they have to do this whole scene maybe they're probably filming continuously for 25 minutes. And if anybody fucks up, cut, then they have to redo the whole thing. Yeah. Like it's so annoying. <laughs> yeah. There's the one guy that keeps tripping or something. Yeah. And there's like behind the scenes content on YouTube. And like, I'm sure when the Blu-ray comes out, they'll have a whole behind the scenes on how they made it. And mm-hmm. from what I've seen, it's just mind blowing that they yeah. were able to do that. Who's in it? Is anyone that we know? No, I, I, had, I mean, if you're into movies, maybe, but I actually didn't know anybody in it. So, um, oh, oh, David Budd, Nabhan Rizwan. <laughs> but one other thing I wanted to say, uh, you mentioned how like you've thought about what if there was just a movie that was like two hours or whatever yeah. of someone's life. I actually asked my buddy Anthony about that at one point, something similar, and he, I forget the name of the show. I think it's called like Twenty Four. Or like, I think I've heard of that show. I don't know. There's, I don't know the name, but he said there's some show where every episode is like an hour, but it's like a literal hour hour of this person's life or something like that. So that's cool. That'd be cool. Oh, that would make sense. 24. Yeah. yeah. And there's like 24 episodes. (laughs) What if it's just them sleeping? (laughs) Yeah. How does on this episode? Yeah. What if they want to take a nap? John suffers from nightmare. He sees clam in the middle of the night. It's like a reality TV show, but just like literally documenting someone's entire life. See, it's like the Truman Show. But he probably jerked off. The whole world's watching him jerk off. Oh, wow. And taking a shit. He was kind of a weird (laughs) character. Yeah, maybe because he was kind of groomed into that world. Maybe he didn't know what jerking off was. Yeah. He pooped. And peed. Well, he had to he have accidentally like rubbed shower. his dick against something and been like, "Whoa!" Yeah, he'd wake up and walk Feels around. He good. changed his clothes and he's got a boner. Like that's yeah. really fucked up. That's actually <laughs> crazy how messed up that is. Yeah, that a whole world is just watching him poop. Changing clothes with a boner is kind of weird because you're like, <laughs> <laughs> my dick is like hard right now, but it shouldn't be. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> all right. The last little thing I wanted to talk about before we wrap it up here is uh, there's this very good show called Shameless. Oh, I love it. And now, a lot of people know about it, but I feel like not enough people know about it. Like, Shameless, I truly think it's my top five favorite shows ever. Me too. And it has like 10 fucking seasons. Like, it's clearly... Clearly, it's successful, and there are people that watch it because otherwise they wouldn't keep making it. Mm. But, like, it's amazing. And I don't feel like enough people talk about how damn good this show is. I don't know uh, anyone that doesn't like it that's watched it. Yeah, it's like if you watch it, you like it, and otherwise everyone else I've talked to has never even heard of it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, guys, there's nine seasons of it on Netflix. It's so good. So anyone could just go watch it. And I've rewatched it, too. Like yeah. I've watched it all. I'm watching the current season and I've also rewatched all of it before. Yeah. And what's so cool about it is like, it just feels very real to me. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of shows you watch it and just, you can tell that they're like kind of reading the script, Yeah. but this feels, it's like this the family, acting's really good. Yeah. The acting's phenomenal. And it's so cool because since it's been going on for 10 seasons, the younger characters, you've literally got to watch them grow up. Yeah. In the first season, some of the some of the siblings are like really little kids, mm -hmm. and by the end, they're like like adults. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I highly recommend any of you guys check it out if you need a new show. It's amazing. And on that note, we're gonna wrap it up here. Kyle, do you have to pee yet? Uh, no, I'm good. Wow. I don't have to pee. Kyle chugged like a whole water bottle before this, <laughs> and gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> we thought he was gonna have to pee, but it's just the peas never came. Not yet. Haven't come yet. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Not yet. Anyways, guys, we have a Patreon at patreon.com slash yeah, Pim's do. podcast. So if you guys want to support the show, if you're a big fan, if you have like extra five bucks laying around and you want some extra content, check it out. Uh, there's a five, 10 or $15 tier where you get some extra content. You get deleted scenes videos. You get To me, that's what's worth it. It's deleted scenes videos. Those are great. They're really funny. It's It'll stuff that doesn't make it into the podcast of like our mic checks and Stuff we do before and after the podcast. Yeah. Every time we have an episode with Shim on it, like our episode yesterday or last time you guys, episode number 106, uh, at the beginning of the show, Shim will just play a beat and Shim and Kyle will freestyle for like 15 minutes. It's not good, but it's really funny. Yeah. And there's a lot of shit that like we say and we're like, cut that probably out. Probably should cut that out, but we can put it in the Patreon content because it's not an official episode. Exactly. But yeah, and there's also, we'll give you guys a personalized video shout out. There's a Discord you can join, a bunch of good stuff. So anyways, Kyle, where can they follow you? Follow me on Instagram at Kyle Stafford 36 But more importantly, follow the podcast at Pim's Podcast on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok. We're big on bigger on Instagram. Um, yeah, hit us up. Send us a message. Say what's up. We'll yeah. be like, yo, hey, John, where can they find you? <laughs> you can follow me at Hey Narwhal on Instagram and Twitter. I also have a personal YouTube channel, which I took a break from for a while. He's back, though. But I'm back, baby. He's back uh, with five tips to gain muscle. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I don't know. The last year, I've got way more into fitness. And I haven't been knowing what type of content I want to make. And I was like, fuck it. I have a lot of ideas for different fitness-related stuff. Um, but not like... Like, I wanna, I'm want to. i going to do, like, cool, fun challenges. Not like... Dude, check out how strong I am. Yeah. And not like, oh, here's, like how to make a vegan healthy bodybuilding meal not like <laughs> that type of bullshit but more like i have a video going up uh on monday so when you guys see this episode today be, yeah it'll be going up and it's a 1000 rep incline bench press challenge wait 1000 or i mean what the fuck am Whoa. i saying no it's not it's not sorry 100 <laughs> it is a 100 rep <laughs> <laughs> incline bench press challenge a thousand reps would literally be impossible um yeah. yeah but it was kyle and shim were there when we filmed it it was fun so and i i just have to say i have this one idea that i'm not i'm not gonna tell kyle or shim because telling them i think would ruin it but i have this video idea that's gonna be fucking hilarious and it's gonna be like awesome a gym, like a gym video not necessarily it's it's Are we gonna be a part of it Maybe if you guys want to be, but I can't tell you until the day of. Okay. So I'm doing the, I just have to tell you guys to get excited because I have this video idea. I'm it nervous. is a, it is a 24 hour challenge. Oh, uh, I don't like it. And I'm going to do it and it's going to be awesome if I actually complete it. Stay in the gym for 24 hours. No. Oh. 
Whoa, what? Oh, Work out for 24 hours? That would be good, though. Oh, stay in the gym for me? That, you gave me an idea. Hey, there you go. I mean, uh, you'd get really hungry. Yeah, bring food. You'd get kicked Cause out. Because you know those videos where people spend like 24 hours in Walmart and they hide? And they like, those get millions of views. <laughs> stay in the gym? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. There's new episodes every single Monday and Thursday. If you guys are new to the show or you're a fan of the show, please go leave a review on the Apple Podcast app. Even if you listen on Spotify or YouTube, just go on the app, rate us five stars, write a review. It takes two seconds. So with all that being said, I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.